We're supposed to talk now about the relevance of the candidate, Coolidge or Reagan, for the current election. There are four issues we can name for the current election that I'd like to. Two are international immigration and intervention abroad. Two are domestic expansion of the federal government at the expense of the private sector and the federal debt in all four areas. The 30th president proves a more relevant model than 40. If you start with immigration, and that's one area where uh, the Republican Party is in trouble today, not knowing what it's doing, um, Reagan would say something nice about growth and families. and. Uh, there, but there is concern in the country. It's a different time as there is in Europe. What about immigration? You have to say something more than immigration causes growth. Otherwise, the result is someone like Donald Trump who says bigoted things. Here, Coolidge offers a model. Coolidge loved immigrants. He felt great kinship with them. He said whether one traces his Americanism back three centuries to the Mayflower or three years ago to the steerage, here we are all in the same boat. However, Coolidge did hold that immigration proceeds better slowly, that it requires regulation, and that it ought not to be for political blocks, but rather all the immigrants become one as citizens and, um, and part of America. That's a very inspiring and useful idea. Second, foreign intervention. Today we have no clarity about where the U.S. will deploy, how many people it will deploy when it does, and for, of course, for how long. Leaders from both parties are knee-jerk interventionists. Um, Perhaps, I won't go on about Nicaragua, but perhaps it is time to have a president who is not a neocon, to have a president that doesn't say, because I feel this side or that side is right, we intervene there. Coolidge sent his ambassador to Mexico to stop wars, not to start one. He abhorred gunboat diplomacy, and he said one of the best things America can do for the rest is be a better model at home. You don't have to be an isolationist to see the wisdom there. 